serenity, peace, awe-inspiring. These are just a few words visitors use to describe the majestic forests of Great Smoky Mountains National Park. This 800 square mile preserve encompasses some of the largest tracts of old growth forest east of the Mississippi River, including trees nearly 200 feet in height. Protecting the forest of the Great Smoky Mountains is not only the duty of the National Park Service, but of all visitors that come to enjoy them. Though guarded from logging and commercial development, these forests face a constant threat from non-native insects and diseases that can wipe out millions of trees in a single year. Invasive forest pests have already devastated a litany of tree species here. In the 1960s, a tiny insect from Europe called the balsam woolly adelgid decimated over 75% of the mature Fraser fir trees in the park. In the early part of the new millennium, another adelgid species, this time from Asia, killed most of the large eastern hemlock trees. Some of these trees were champions, recognized by the American Forest Organization as the largest their kind found anywhere in the world. The impact of the woolly adelgids is plainly visible today on many of the park's mountainsides. The National Park Service has treated tens of thousands of trees with various pesticides and biological controls. However, this process is expensive and labor-intensive and only protects a limited number of trees. And now, an even more ominous wave of destructive, non-native forest pests may be headed for the Great Smoky Mountains. This new onslaught includes insects that could destroy not two or four, but well over half of the species of park trees. Most of these insects, such as the emerald ash borer and the Asian longhorn beetle, can easily be transported from infected areas to the park as stowaways in firewood. The very best actions the National Park Service can take against this new threat are preventative. For this reason, the Park Service has announced restrictions on the types of firewood that can be brought into the Smokies. A wide variety of forest pests lay eggs or stow away in firewood. Transportation of firewood has been implicated in the spread of gypsy moth, thousand canker disease, Dutch elm disease, Cyrex wood wasp, and gold-spotted oak borer. The new rule states that only heat-treated wood with certification from USDA or State Departments of Agriculture may be brought into the park campgrounds for use in campfires. Campers can also use dead and down wood they gather in the park. Certified heat-treated wood will be available for purchase from concessioners in many of the park's larger campgrounds, as well as from private businesses in the communities surrounding the park. Certified heat-treated firewood is packaged in three-quarter cubic feet bundles, clearly displaying a certification stamp. The wood is a high-quality hardwood product that has been heated for 60 minutes at 140 degrees Fahrenheit. The wood lights easily, burns well for campfires, is safe to cook over, and is already available in over 85 locations near the park. Please do your part in preserving some of the most biologically rich and diverse forests in the temperate world. Leave your firewood at home. <laughs>